Hi guys, today is another empties and it's a lot this month, so I will try to be quick so it doesn't take too long. First the um, Project Pen empties, it's the Lacura foundation, it looks like there's still a bit in there but I literally can't pump it out anymore. Um, but yeah, I, I would definitely repurchase this one, I absolutely love it and I had it several times before and they don't have it anymore at the moment. But I hope it comes back one day to Aldi and then I will get it. I think it's a copy of um, a Lancome um, foundation and it had like a concealer on the top as well. This one just looks nice. Then Ayeko Black Magic Cocoa Edit Mascara. Um, used it, didn't like it, would not repurchase. I think they always come in my life with like beauty boxes and stuff. This one is actually a declutter. It's Pat McGrath Labs. Um, it's like one of these little lip balms. And this applicator is just so short. It's such a drag to try to use it. Didn't like the color on me. Um, I have another one of these which I actually tried to pen. And I just thought, you know what, I would just declutter it. It's super cute, but... It just turned out to be super annoying in usage, so it has to go. Then Nivea Body Milk, Winter Moment Shea Butter. Um, I would definitely repurchase, but I don't have that one because I have a few more of these ones to go through. Then we have Aveno. <laughs> it's a baby cream. I actually used it on my kids, but then I didn't need it for them anymore, so I used it up. Uh, Daily Care Moisturizing Lotion. This is actually really good. Aveno stuff is usually quite expensive, but if you have a look around, you can find them on for Aveno. And then this one is an old classic. It's the... Um, it's already a bit squashed. Can't unsquash it. Um, it's from Treacle Moon, the One Ginger Morning Shower Gel. I love Treacle Moon Shower Gels, and I would definitely be purchase and have done before and have them already. Then this one is Aveda um, Botanical Repair Strengthening Leave In Treatment. Um, this one was actually really nice. It made my hair very soft. Would I run out and repurchase? No, it wasn't like life changing. It was nice though. So if I get it in my life again, I would use it. Um, yeah, I cut it open to make sure I get really all the product out whoopsie oh gosh i need to squash it later together then um this is from aldi la cura brand facial cleansing scrub for men i think that's a copy of some other brand i don't know which one um this one is actually really nice very scrubby um did a good job i used it my partner used it and i would repurchase then this is the sensodyne pro animal pro animal daily mouthwash um it's a mouthwash. I don't really have an opinion about it. I would repurchase if I see it on offer. I usually tend to buy stuff like this, whatever is on offer. Another shower gel from um, Treacle Moon. This is the Wild Cherry Magic. It was nice, but this one smelled a bit too sweet for me, so I actually would not repurchase this one. Um, Prey. This is 25 karat gold wrinkle repair night cream. I really like this one. What really annoyed me though, I don't know if you can see it on this pot. This pot is like half round. So you think we have like this little pot. But it's actually an insert in there and it only goes like this deep and then there's like a plastic thing underneath. Like it does look like a lot of product, but it's actually not. It's 30 mil, but I think this pot could be half the size for the 30 mil. So I like the cream and I think if I would really see it on offer, I probably would repurchase it. But I have a lot of other creams to go through at the moment and I do not like the packaging on that one. I think it's a bit wasteful. Then Eco Refill, 75% less plastic, um, Carex Fun Edition, I, I like this one, it actually smells quite nice, it, um, it says here Sherbet Lemon, and it smells quite nice and we like to use it and I would repurchase. Um, I try now to use either this kind of refill for my dispensers or I buy soap bars in a carton packaging which is hopefully environmentally friendly, but it is environmentally friendly, we know that. Then Fragrance Society. Um, this was a really nice hand cream. Orange, bergamot and lemongrass. And I think it's, yeah, it's M&S own brand. I still have a few hand creams to go through, but this is definitely on my radar to repurchase. It smelled nice. It was a nice hand cream. It wasn't greasy. It sunk into the skin nicely quickly. Um, this one is just a declutter, really. It's a tanning mitt. I used it a lot. I had this one for like two, three years. And I don't tan very often. Um, I only do that in summertime if I go, to, go somewhere to a wedding or something. And I want a bit of tan on my legs and arms. Um, so I would always clean it to keep it in good shape, um, which is why I lasted a few years, but it's gone now. I have a new one already from Aldi, so that's fine. This is a sponge. This is from Aldi. This one I used so long until literally, I don't know if you can see, the bits fall out. And then I used the other side for a bit, but then bits started to fall out here. So I thought, okay, I think you're only supposed to use sponges for three months. I used this one for much, much longer. <laughs> then, what do we have here? Uh, Baileys and Harden. Bayless and Harding. Um, this was um, a soap, frosted sprinkle hand wash. This one was really nice. Um, if I would see this one, I would repurchase, but I would prefer to buy a refill of it instead of this um, plastic packaging. 
Then Lacroix Ebony Rose face mask. This is a copy of the Sisley face mask. I really like it. Um, I didn't like it whenever I had the first time around, but then I had it the second time. I liked it a little bit more this time. It's not my favorite one. So I wouldn't necessarily repurchase, but it's a good solid face mask if you like face masks. Then um, this one was really nice. These are my green tea eye gel patches. Um, I had them before. This is the second time I had them. They last forever because there's 60 in there. And it's quite nice packaging wise because you have a lot of eye patches. And this packaging is much less than when you have the single packed ones. And it's quite nice if you like under eye masks, which I do. And um, yeah, I really liked it. And I would repurchase if I see that one again. Then this one is actually not empty, but I mixed it with another foundation because the packaging annoyed me so much. This is um, L'Oreal um, Accord Parfait Mineral Foundation. This one had like this really weird packaging. Like, i show you. Like, it's literally this goes really deep in. Then the foundation is only in here. You can hardly put the brush in there. There was like this netting. I tried to cut the netting out if it then goes easier, but that was just so annoying. So in the end, I just took it out of this massive packaging and put it in... I actually can show you. Um, I have a Kiko Milano um, mineral foundation as well. And I just mixed them up in this one. So this is why I did it. Um, then oh, this one actually dried out. But I used it fairly well up. This is the La Cour Aldi Charcoal Clearing Mud Mask. I didn't use it as much as I would use it in the past. Because my skin turned really dry in the last few years. Um, I did got good use out of it. Like um, I literally hit pan on the jar. And there's just a little bit left. But it's now dried out. So can't use it anymore um i probably wouldn't repurchase because my skin changed i loved this mud mask in the past but at the moment i think it's not right for my skin then this one was from fluorosis i actually thought i got it sent for free with my last order i actually thought it's gel eye patches but it turned out it was a cleaning cloth a makeup remover cloth which was nice um it was actually quite moisturizing and soft and was good wouldn't repurchase though because these one single use products are just not very environmentally friendly more stuff okay la Cura, healthy glow plumping serum would definitely be purchased i think i have a backup of this one very good it's um hyaluronic acid um it has chamomile retinol and acacia collagen so i, I really like this one i would repurchase um okay more stuff oh gosh this one this one in the past was my favorite balance me vitamin c repair serum i love this one in the past i can't use it anymore so i had to use this one actually up on my legs and my, my, my skin doesn't like vitamin C serums anymore. Most of the vitamin C serums I had in the past, I decluttered now as well. Um, or gave to my friends, actually. Then another La Cura Super Booster Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I like this one. I would repurchase. It's a good, solid hyaluronic acid serum. Nothing special, just a moisturizing one. Um, does a good job. And especially for the price from La Cura if you buy from Aldi. So it was good. Then this one is Cora Organics. Actually, I had a second product from Aya. Ah, yeah. I had like a um, trial pack from Cora Organics. Um, I like the packaging, like from the look, but it was very unpractical, apart from the glass jar, because this one was really hard to squeeze out in the end. I like the product. Um, this one, I literally can hardly... So this is the Miranda Kerr brand. Um, I don't know if I pronounce her name correct. I hope I do. This is like a really hard to read, by the way, because it's so shiny. This is turmeric brightening and exfoliating mask two in one. I did like this one, actually, but I think you can have turmeric masks before and turmeric um, scrubs. And I think you can buy cheaper ones than this one. So that's a no. And the cream also is a no for me. This is was the, um, what was it called? Turmeric Glow Moisturizer. Um, this one, this cream was just too thick. Um... I have dry skin and even for me it was a little bit too thick it felt like a film like a screen on my skin instead of sinking in or anything and i i didn't feel felt like it did something nice to my skin like i didn't felt like a good difference what do we have okay let's go this one first this is another pineapple face serum from la Croix. this is like a copy from the glow recipes um this one i actually could use on my face compared to this one would i repurchase probably not because with vitamin c products i have to be so careful so i could only use this one like twice a week so i try not to use vitamin c products now anymore then this from fresh oh i love this one the sugar strawberry exfoliating face wash absolutely love that one would repurchase if it wouldn't be so expensive if anyone knows a good dupe for that one from a cheaper brand please let me know love this one um what else do we have Okay, this one was from Origins, the Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. This one I wouldn't repurchase. It felt 
it was a good face wash from a sense of you couldn't use it for first lens you had to use it for second lens like it was like a makeup remover one but it also left my skin feeling really stripped so for that purpose i wouldn't repurchase i'm sorry i did use it up though um this is the dr barbara sturm glow drops um i actually really like this one i didn't find anything glowy in my skin it was literally just like a white fine cream serum um, but it felt really nice on the skin it is super expensive though and for that purpose i wouldn't repurchase but it was nice then this one I had several times before the estee lauder advanced night repair it was just a small small sample size um used it up like it um i have lots of other serums but this one i had several times before and it is quite a good serum and i think um once i'm really down in my collection of skincare and i see this one on offer i would repurchase it okay what else do we have ah uh, these were pimple patches acne pimple master patch i think i got this one from yesterday ages ago so i finally finished them up i think they're good like to just calm down if you see a pimple coming up but it, it doesn't do magic but it does calm down but it doesn't magically make the pimple disappear so i would put them on in the evening if i see a pimple coming and in the morning it was a bit calmed down but the pimple wasn't completely gone um by the way um I would repurchase if I see it again, but I don't feel like it's necessary at the moment. Um, then this was from Estee Lauder, a sample. That's the day where the multi-protection antioxidant 24-hour moisturizer. I really like the smell of this one, actually. It's a good moisturizer. I wouldn't run out and buy it, though, but it is a good one. It's just a bit expensive because it's just a normal moisturizer. Then, oh, this one I really liked. La Cura Luxury Illuminating Tanning Drops. This is really cool because you just need a few drops and you put it in your normal moisturizers and you get quite a good tan i use it on my legs and arms um i went to some events and um yeah i really liked it i actually have a bigger size of that one and i would repurchase if i see this one again okay. and then the last thing um some more perfume samples i used up these ones i had before they are like from the brand potion they're very heavy though i wouldn't repurchase but they're not offensive so i do use them up and i think i have two more to go um they're nice in between when you have like a big perfume to use up and you have these little ones in between to just change your scent but yeah i wouldn't repurchase they're just too expensive for what they are but that's it for me today and it was a lot as you can see and now i'm going to recycle see you next time bye